Welcome to today's webinar on physical activity and continence. My name is Lisa and I'm from the Continence Foundation of Australia. I would like to acknowledge and pay respect to the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today. I would also like to pay respect to the elders, both past and present of all Australia's Indigenous peoples. Today's webinar will be about 20 minutes long. You can catch up on demand through our Facebook page or through the YouTube channel. If you have any questions during today's webinar, please type them in the Q&A box at the bottom. All questions will be answered during our Q&A expert panel on Friday at 1pm, and that's in Australia Eastern Standard Time. So in many cases, incontinence can be prevented by adopting healthy lifestyle and habits, such as keeping active. Keeping active can relieve constipation by helping the digestive system to work at its best, while also keeping you healthy and happy. Lack of regular exercise and living a sedentary lifestyle or being restricted in movement due to a disability are common causes of constipation. Constipation is also more common in the elderly. This is due to several factors, including reduced intestinal muscle contractions and reliance on regular medication. Physical activity stimulates movement of the bowel and even gentle movement like walking can really help. It's important to be as active as much as you can. So it's never too late. Keeping active is really important and beneficial at any age. So day-to-day -day incidental physical activity like dancing around in the lounge room is particularly beneficial to overall health and your bladder and bowel function. In fact, regular uh, exercise helps to prevent constipation. Try to include incidental physical activity in your daily routine. Uh, you can do this by doing a little bit of gardening or you could take the stairs. You could do a few laps of the shopping centre. I know when I'm shopping, I walk around in circles looking at clothes. Parking further away from your destination or moving around during the TV ad breaks. It all really, really helps. Aim for about 30 minutes of physical activity a day, but it doesn't have to be all at once. Try to do maybe 10 minutes in the morning, or then you could maybe do 10 minutes around lunch and then try 10 minutes in the evening as well. Also, try to do some muscle strength activities at least two days a week using some light weights. Now, if you don't have light weights at home, that's absolutely fine. I've uh, pulled some tins out of my cupboard today. I've got some corn and some chickpeas, and that's what I'm going to use as weights today. If you can't complete 30 minutes of physical activity, remember that any activity is better than none and it can all make a big difference. Lastly, it's really important to exercise safely. See your doctor before starting with any new exercise program. Now I'd like to share with you now a 10 new segment, um, which is quite relevant to what we're talking about today. South Australians over the age of 50 are being encouraged to use online videos and exercise from home if they're still anxious about stepping out even as restrictions relax. Items like milk bottles and even broomsticks can help in the fight to stay fit. For Ruth and David Harris, a can of tomatoes does more than make a great bolognese. Try to keep those elbows tucked right close to you. Despite social restrictions easing, the couple in their 60s prefer to use Strength for Life videos to stay active from the confines of their living room. It's enabled us to actually uh, keep moving. Um, I think it's important to actually not lose your um, fitness. But the advantage of the video exercises is that they show us how to do uh, techniques correctly so that we avoid injury, but they also use household items and, and furniture as props. Broomsticks, water bottles and other household items, all taking on a new life as gym equipment. An ideal solution for older people anxious about stretching their legs outside. Best thing we can do is get off the couch and keep moving. The videos vary in length, but a warm up, activity and cool down can be done in just 30 minutes. So there's a more advanced warm up, there's the easier warm up and each each of the um, exercises come with options. So you don't have to do this many reps. 4002. While Strength for Life is for people aged 50 and over, anyone can access the videos online and give it a go. We're done, mate. That's all I've got, Amy. Oh, oh, oh it's a deep burn. 
Oh, it's so deep. Cam Inglis for 10 News First. Okay. As the 10 News segment suggests, keeping active is really important to easy and easy to do at home. If you're interested, you should check out some of the online classes that are available that give you some different home options for different abilities and fitness levels. Some great classes can be located at various websites, including the COTA NT website. You could check out the Wellbeing SA website or the COTA SA website. Uh, the Queensland Government have some great videos available to follow along with as well. Or uh, check the Exercise and Sports Science Australia website. Now, I'd like to introduce the lovely Sharon Kelly to you today. Sharon instructs Pilates and seated aerobics at COTA NT. She has worked within the fitness industry for many years and she's a qualified group fitness instructor. Sharon particularly enjoys Pilates and other balance and coordination and flexibility programs. Today, she's going to introduce some really gentle strength exercises that you can do at home. So if you've got a pillow handy or a ball, join in. If you don't have anything available, that is absolutely fine. Just keep your feet shoulder width apart and firmly on the floor and see if you can join me. So next we're going to work the abdominals. Um, you can either bring the hands just to your shoulders or bring your hands on your head. So breathing in, lift the chest, keep the chin down. Now, as we roll the shoulders down towards our knees, we want to do that gentle squeeze with the um, inner thighs, pull the belly back, lifting the pelvic floor and coming up and coming over. And then lifting up, remember to drop the shoulders down. Pull the tummy in, little squeeze on that ball. And up, show me three more. And coming up, let's do two more together. Dropping the shoulders, rounding them over, squeezing that ball gently. Coming up, just drop the shoulders down. Last one. And up, well done. Give the shoulders a roll out here. So we're going to go into some side waist work. So we're either bring our hands here or here. So we're going to go to your right. So we're going to breathe in, prepare our body, drop the shoulders. Now I find, and I'm actually going to cue this today, as we go to our right, we're going to just pull our hand on our left hip and push it down as we lift that elbow up. So we're getting that nice stretch on this side and the crunch on the other side. Coming up, let's go to the other side. Push the hip down and then coming up. Okay, let's little gentle squeeze on that ball, connect the abdominals and coming up to a seated position over to the other side. And show me three more sets. To push that hip down, gentle squeeze on the ball, connect with your core. You're really pressing that hip down so you can feel that nice stretch here, feeling the crunch. Two more sets. Or have I lost count again? Over to the other side. Deep abdominals are working. And last one to each side. And over. Great work. Let's give those shoulders a roll out here. So we're going into some rotation work. You can leave your elbows down or you can bring them up to the same height as your shoulders. I want you to sit up nice and tall. Press the sitting bones into the chair. Little squeeze of the ball. Just breathe in to prepare. As we breathe out, we're going to twist to your right. Nothing else moves but our waist. Squeezing the ball, connecting the tummy. And to the other side. That's it. Excuse me. Show me four more sets. And if you're getting any back irritation here, 
try not to twist as far around. You might just find that it might be better just to go back into the crunches. The good thing about working from home is that you can work at your own pace. Dropping the shoulders. Show me two more sets. Now remember, a little squeeze of the ball, pelvic floor and um, deep abdominals are connecting. Last one to each side. Excellent. Bring the hands down by your side. Let's roll the shoulders around. Okay, I am going to show you some little bit of weight work, which we are still going to incorporate the lower, the, the core, the pelvic floor. Grab your weights. I'm actually using soup cans, improvising today, even though I don't need to. Bicep curl. Now, okay, let's grab our weights. So let's work the upper body. We're going to do a bicep curl. We're going to rotate the shoulders around, press the arms up into a shoulder press. Coming back down, rotate and down. See, breathing out to lift up, coming down, shoulders down, rotate around. Now let's add the core if we haven't already. A little squeeze of the ball, tummy's engaged. We're just going to hold it as we go through the upper body. So that core, we're pulling the tummy in. Inner thighs are working gently and rotate around. Show me two more sets. Pressing up. Okay, guys, just one more set here. Bring it down, bring it around and down. So we're going to do another exercise, which we, we're going to use the ball as well. We're coming into a pulley row. So we're going to lean forward. We're going to pull the elbows up and squeeze the elbows into the back. Place the weights back down by your side. Come up to a seated position and lift the arms up and down. So coming over, pull the weights up, squeeze the elbows into the back, place the weights down, come up to a seated position position, lift the shoulders so the arms lift, squeeze the shoulders to bring the arms down. Leaning over, now squeezing the ball, lift the abdominals and remember just a gentle squeeze of the ball, coming back up with the shoulders and down. Keep the neck nice and long here. Let's show me four more. Squeeze those elbows into the back, bring it down, coming up. And show me three more sets. Now, a little squeeze of the ball, lift the abdominals, pull the elbows up. So we want to keep that pressure quite constant with our inner thighs and our abdominals. The reason I keep killing it is because I've got a habit of letting it go. So you always hear what's wrong with me. And last one. That's it. And one more. Great work. Let's put the weights down. Let's give that a quick stretch out. And bring the arm across, drop the shoulder. Now I do have a lot more workouts while I'm channel at the moment. So if you do want to do some more, um, the details are at the front of the clip. Just go to my website and it will tell you where YouTube is. Um, it's superaging.com.au. Let's bring the arms back. Lean forward, lift the shoulders up as high as you can. Coming back down, just do a couple of big arm movements, breathing in and breathing out. And again, pull the arms back as far as you can. And last one. And thank you for joining me today. Okay, thanks Sharon. Sharon's video will be available shortly to watch and follow up on, on consonants.org.au. Now, please remember, we do have professional staff on the National Consonants Helpline, and they're there and available to help you. Um, they can advise you and provide information on available resources.